fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 11th of June 2023 and I hope your weekend is going very well. Uh, Sunday morning, easy like Sunday morning, as a certain Mr. Richie once sang. Um, what's going on? More good news from the UK. Oh, it's so much good news at the moment. It makes you feel happy, doesn't it? Uh, another Tory uh, MP is resigning. That's uh, three. There's uh, <laughs> the master himself, Johnson, is out, followed by his fawning lapdog. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, to say that <laughs> Nadine Doris would, is like a <laughs> uh, um, sycophant uh, will be an un understatement, of course. She's out. Uh, she's she's leaving um, because I, I'm not sure if she's leaving because she was mad because Johnson didn't put her in the honours list. But anyway, she, whatever Boris does, she will. She's her. She's his shadow. She will follow. And now another one's out. A third one. So causing a by-election, about to cause a by-election. Um, and the Tories are going to get trounced in these places, I reckon, even if they're true blue areas. Uh, you know, by-elections cause people to do to vote against uh, their normal voting habits just as a protest. Um, things are looking good uh, for the national future. The Tories might be kicked out. Um, but the thing is, will Keir Starmer do anything reasonable and radical um, to bring the country back, in particular about the NHS? Um, which is so in such poor, uh, dis which is in such poor disarray at the moment. In, sorry, in such disarray at the moment. I say poor disarray. That sounds that's silly, isn't it? Is is in such disarray at the moment. You can tell I never script these things. Uh, okay. Anyway, so that's a, a bit of optimism there, as the Tories are sulking their way out. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Now, this is the Observer, it's Sunday, and I have absolutely no idea of the level of difficulty. So traditionally, I will give um, an explanation of how to play the game uh, on a Sunday. So uh, we have nine squares across like this, and we have nine squares in every column down like this. And we have these smaller boxes, which are outlined in black by black lines, bold lines like this, there are nine squares. So that means every row, every column, and every one of these smaller blocks has nine squares. The object of the game is to stick numbers in there, one per square, sometimes referred to as a cell. You're not allowed to put more than one number in one uh, square, although I actually use a technique called pencil marks or candidates. Uh, most of the time, which means that you could put in uh, uh, like notes to yourself to decide what possibilities are there. Uh, and you'll see that on the harder level games uh, on this channel, the easy level, the easy games, you generally don't need them. Uh, and that's it. We continue along until the whole grid is filled and then you treat yourself to a coffee or a champagne, depending on how difficult the Sudoku game was. Right, shall we get on with the game then? I don't see anything though. Normally by this time I will have spotted something. Uh, and I just have, oh yes I have. I've seen the six blocking across here and a six blocking. I should probably put my glasses on I think. I'm still a bit, when I play these games in the morning my eyes are getting worse and worse. This is a terrible feature of aging, is the way the eyes get worse. Uh, six has to fit here. Um, oh, look at this. We've got sixes over here as well. I get a six in that square. Uh, which is going to leave an insoluble pattern of sixes up here. Uh, in, possible in those squares. But you can see we can't fit exactly which goes where. So we need some more work. And we'll come back to that later. Um... What can we see? Um, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to put my glasses on. The the, the digits are kind of um, un not perfectly clear to me. I mean, I can see them, but they're not sharp. So let's put the glasses on and see if that sharpens my concentration as well with a bit of luck 
I'm really not seeing anything. Let's go through the digits then. <clears throat> Um, sixes already looked at, didn't I? Oh, wow. I probably didn't need to um, explain the rules of Sudoku because I suspect that I'm not going to be putting up the easy label on the um, title of this video, I suspect looking like it's gonna take some thought and effort otherwise I would have been halfway through by now <clears throat> Uh, well, I don't know if it means <coughs> anything, but I will tell you what I've spotted. The 4 and 7 in this block here mean that these squares can't be 4 and 7. It means that these squares in this column must be 4 and 7. So knowing that those are 4 and 7, we will be left down here with 2 and 9. So let's see if that means anything. 2s have to be here. They will be up there. Uh, twos are here like this and there. No, it looks like they can go in all corner squares up there. So that wasn't so, wasn't that, I didn't see a great deal out of that. Let's see if we can find anything else. We've got nines here and it's going to have nines down there. Um, nines are up there anyway. Uh, okay, so, all right, this is two and nine. Let's see uh, what's left. So we're looking for one, three, five in these squares here. We've got the three blocking across. Does that help much? Uh, I don't know how it does. Threes are here. Uh, ones are down here. Does that help much? Not a great deal. <laughs> five, no, I don't see any restrictions on five from the remaining three squares. So, oh dear, we're in for a, a tough morning. Or maybe, yippee, we're in for a tough morning, whatever your feeling is. Well, um... 
a lot of I say a lot of some people who uh, watch this channel like to play the game without notation so I shall endeavor to try a little bit harder to um, uh, go uh, find some more uh, fi uh, go forward a little bit with with uh, uh, without pencil marks but if I'm not successful in the next few minutes I should just jot down a few pencil marks to help me uh, go forward Oh, hang on a second. Five, seven, nine block this square here, and there are only three sevens. Five, seven, nine have to go in those. I thought, weirdly enough, I looked at this. I looked at this block before and thought, no, I need. I'm. I need another digit, but I'm wrong, aren't I? Nine, seven, and five block this square here, so nine, seven, and five must be in those three squares. I thought I'd had one of those down here, but obviously I don't. So then that's going to be an eight, and that's our way forward. I was panicking prematurely there. We'll get ourselves an eight down here. Then we'll get the eights going up and up here. And an eight will fit there. Okay, we've got a five and eight up here, and we've got five and eight across here and across here. So we've got ourselves a pair of five and eight. In those squares, what do we know? Well, we know for sure now when the one blocks across here like this, that's going to give me a one here. Now, I remember that six blocked up here and here, so I know that's going to be a six. Um, so we're going to get sixes left there. Right now, back over here, five and eight. What else do we know? The twos are up here and there, and I already know they're down here. So not that much. All right, back again. Five, eight, uh, two, three, four, seven is what we're looking for. And uh, fours. Ah, oh, well, let's fill in the last digit here. Fours. Sevens, I don't know yet. Okay. No, I have to come back to that, I think. Um, let's, let's look at that later, shall we? Uh, now, we've got four across here and four up here. That means fours are in one of these two squares. Blocking up here, four blocking up here. That puts a four there. Uh, now, I worked out before, 4 and 7 were in these two squares, didn't I? So that's got to be a 7 now. Uh, now, we have 2 and 7 across here, 7 across here, and 2 down there. So this is a pair of 2 and 7. So in the remaining squares, we have 1, 4, 5. So when the 4 blocks across here, we know that it goes there. And then we're going to have 1 blocking down here. So here's the 1, and this will be our 5. 5 across here and across here. There's our 5. 5 blocking this square, this square, and this square. So in that row... Oh, no. Hang on a second. I almost made a mistake there. No, there's a possible five over here. Oops. Never mind. No mistake made because I reached. I got. I got there in time. <laughs> Fortunately. Missing across this row are 3, 8, and 9. We've got 3, 8 in this block already, so that's got to be our 9. 9 blocks up here, 9 across here. 
There is our nine. We can get this number here because we know this is two and seven. And we know this is one and four. By the way, we've got four blocking here. So let's put the four there and put the one there. And uh, that's going to leave us with a nine over here. Uh, one is missing from this square as we need it for this row. We've got a blocking one here. So there's our one. And to finish this row, uh, it's going to be a two, isn't it? Okay, I think we're coming along reasonably well. I don't think I'm going to call this an easy level. I think I'm going to call it a medium level game. If it goes on like this, I think I'm going to call it a medium level game. Uh, always difficult to say exactly. Uh, okay, now I know that um, 2 is only available in these two squares down here. Why? Because we've got 2 across here and 2 down here, right? So 2s are there blocking that and we need a 2 in this column so we can say for sure that the 2 goes there uh, and I've forgotten what the other number was I know we had 7 and 4 there what was the other number now is it a 9 it looks like it is Uh, now our one blocks down here giving us a one there and one blocking across like this means that that's the final digit one and the first of our completed digits for this grid. Um, three blocks across here so there's our three this would be a five and the last number to place here again is a nine. Uh, now we can get the nines across like this and I think those are going to bite the dust any second. There they go poof. Uh, we are looking over here for 5 and 7. Any help on that yet? Um, don't see it just yet, but I will now because we've got 5s blocking down here. Like so, meaning that's a 5. And so that will be our 5 and that will be our 7. Uh... Seven up there. Three blocking down here. There we go. There's our three, and the last number to place here is a seven. Uh, meaning this can't be seven, so seven goes there. This will be a two, and two blocks here. There's our two. Missing number here is going to be a four. Four up there, four across there. There's a four we can place. Four across here, across here, and one up here. Four is out of the way now. We just need one number here. <coughs> I think it's, no, it's not a five. Uh, is it a six? Yes, I think it is. So six across here and six back that way. And now six is out of the way too. Just one number to get here I think it's a three three blocks across here that gives us a three there the last number here is a seven seven blocks across here there's our seven and missing here is a two uh, two across these two rows or oh, actually just look across and see what's missing there you'll get it the same uh, and now what what still do we have to do five blocks up here and five across here so there's our five and here we I believe are looking for an eight and the eight blocks down here so there's the eight last number here's a three three blocks up there there's our three I'm gonna call this a medium level game uh, you can disagree with me I have <laughs> I'm not really confident but anyway I think it's probably a medium that's it for uh, Sunday the 11th uh, from the Observer and uh, they'll be back next week and I'll be back later today. See you around. Bye bye.